Hey everyone, it's Josue Diaz and I'm going to go through an example of a quick breakfast that um, I like to enjoy. First, you get yourself some of these, okay? Ideally, in a situation where you had much more time, you certainly would rather go with this, okay? Much, much better in terms of just the fiber content and the nutritional value, but uh, you know, don't, have all, don't always have time for steel cut. So, we go with this, okay, half a cup, boom, there, out of the way, I hate the shadows, okay. Um, we're also going to ensure that once that's cooked, we're going to throw it in a handful of some of these walnuts. Oh, as well as a smashed up one of these, the great banana. And for a little bit of additional flavor and or um, antioxidant content, unsweetened pure cow cow. Okay. Today we are using the Hershey's variety. Again, this is unsweetened. None of that Swiss Miss trash. And also a little bit of additional omega threes. Let's see. Can we get it in the frame? Uh, let's lift up. Milled flax seed, all right? Whole flax seeds will not work. They need to be milled. If you use a whole flax seed, well, I probably don't need to explain it, but it's very similar in action to corn, if you know what I'm saying. So, uh, we will see what this looks like at the end of the cooking time, which will not be very long, under five minutes. So we are back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see here, everything in terms of the dry and banana ingredients are mixed, and they are awaiting the lovely cooked oats. Now, what I failed to mention before was that I usually do one of two things. I either cook it in this lovely water, or this almond breeze, unsweetened, okay? I've also cooked it in like a, I think the brand is so delicious, it's like a coconut milk. Um, again, unsweetened. The point here is to not load up on sweetness, process, etc. The load is, or the, the um, goal is to try and maximize your um, nutrient, kind of like the whole macronutrient profile. Um, you know, again, this is not the best example. You're not going to get a ton of protein from this. But, uh, you know, for those people who may have several meals throughout the day, which is tends to be the best way to approach fitness um, and the kind of, not necessarily stalling, but um, pacifying your metabolism, so to speak. And, uh, and this is like a good, I don't know, 300 calories. Um, and then maybe, you know, two to three hours later, maybe load up on, uh, on something else in terms of a higher protein content. Uh, again, the, the goal here is, and I really subscribe to this thought, um, which it was Tim Ferriss who kind of put me into the mindset of slow release carbs. I think it really, really works. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully this example of a breakfast will, uh, Hey, if you have any comments or additions, suggestions, etc., feel free to leave me them. All right, thanks, guys. It's Josue Diaz. Have a good day.